Taylor Sheridan, the co-creator and writer of Yellowstone, isn't just a storyteller of ranch life. He also lives it. He is among a consortium of investors who recently acquired the renowned Four Sixes Ranch in Texas, reportedly securing the property for an eye-watering deal of more than $320 million. So what is this ranch and why is it priced this high? Join us inside Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan's historic Four Sixes Ranch. Let's find out why it is held at such value. History of the Four Sixes Ranch Yellowstone fans owe much of the franchise's expansion to the acquisition of the Four Sixes Ranch by its creator Taylor Sheridan. In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Sheridan revealed that he's been developing Yellowstone spin-offs as a mean to fund his purchase of the iconic Four Sixes Ranch, which he bought for an astonishing $320 million last year. Situated in the Texas Panhandle, the Four Sixes Ranch spans an area roughly the size of Los Angeles and features a century-old mansion, a collection of barns and stables, a private airplane hangar, and a multitude of bunkhouses. The Four Sixes Ranch, also known as the Four Sixes Ranch spelled out, has a storied history dating back to 1870, according to property records. It remained under the control of the Burke Burnett dynasty for 150 years and served as the inspiration for Yellowstone's Dutton family ranch. Samuel Burke Burnett, a prominent and wealthy cattleman in Texas history, meticulously assembled the Four Sixes Ranch by acquiring various smaller ranches and culminated his efforts by constructing what was then considered the finest ranch house in Texas in Guthrie in 1917. Sheridan, who grew up in Texas, shared that he was raised in the shadows of the Four Sixes. He explained that owning one of their horses was a status symbol due to their exceptional training. This ranch became the blueprint for Yellowstone's scope and operations, as such vast ranches didn't exist in Montana where the show is primarily set. Sheridan's journey to owning the ranch began when he convinced the ranch's previous owner, 81-year-old Ann Marion, to allow him to use the property for Yellowstone in 2019. However, following her passing, Sheridan received an unexpected call from the estate, inquiring if he wished to purchase the ranch. When asked about the price, he was told it was $350 million, to which he responded that he was $330 million short. Still, he requested two weeks to explore some possibilities. In 2022, Sheridan led a group of investors who ultimately acquired the property for over $320 million. His initial plan had been to retire after Yellowstone's success, but to preserve the Four Sixes, he renegotiated with Paramount Network, signing a massive deal reportedly worth $200 million. This agreement involved creating what's been dubbed the Taylor Sheridan Universe, which encompasses Yellowstone prequels like 1883 and 1923 along with 1944, Lawmen, Bass Reeves, and another Yellowstone installment set at the Four Sixes. There were also talks of a Yellowstone sequel featuring Matthew McConaughey slated to premiere after Yellowstone's fifth season. Furthermore, Sheridan is overseeing several other projects for Paramount Network, such as the Nicole Kidman Morgan Freeman spy thriller Special Ops Lioness, the prison drama Mayor of Kingstown, the Sylvester Stallone mob comedy drama Tulsa King, and the upcoming Billy Bob Thornton drama Landman. Under the terms of this deal, Sheridan estimates that he's responsible for producing television content worth a billion dollars annually. Sheridan emphasized that his motivation for creating these shows is to support the ranch. He has featured the Four Sixes Ranch on Yellowstone since its fourth season and has plans for a Yellowstone Four Sixes spinoff series set at the legendary estate. However, now that he has been the primary owner and manager of the ranch's substantial horse and cattle operation, he is taking a step back from rushing out the spinoff series. Sheridan's deep respect for the ranch's history and the families who work there takes precedence. As he stressed, this is a real place with real families working here. You have to respect the lineage. He added, I do the shows for the ranch. Inside the historic Four Sixes Ranch The origins of the Four Sixes Ranch are shrouded in legend, with tales suggesting it was established following a poker game that ended with a winning hand of Four Sixes. However, the ranch's true history dates back to 1870, when it was founded by Samuel Burke Burnett, a native of Missouri. Remarkably, he transformed a modest purchase of just 100 cattle into one of the most prosperous cattle operations in America. Fast forward to 1917, and Burke Burnett set out to construct what he envisioned as the finest ranch house in West Texas. 
This sprawling and historic Texas ranch, which will serve as the backdrop for the upcoming Yellowstone spinoff, Yellowstone 46s, recently changed hands for a staggering sum exceeding $320 million. The property itself is a testament to Texas history. The centerpiece of this ranch is the majestic Big House, a three-story structure crafted from quarried rock boasting over 13,000 square feet of space. Its entrance, adorned with an archway bearing Burke Burnett's initials in the year 1917, serves as a grand welcome. Inside the big house boasts 13 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, three powder rooms, and not one but two kitchens. Additionally, it features three fireplaces and maintains its original stone-covered wood-paneled charm, all thanks to significant upgrades over the past century. Surrounded by mature trees, the big house exudes an inviting sense of seclusion. The interior decor is adorned with rustic furnishings, including southwestern-style wallpaper, antler chandeliers, and what appears to be cherrywood paneling, creating an atmosphere fit for ranching royalty. This residence has hosted several U.S. presidents over the years, with Teddy Roosevelt being one of its notable guests. It was during a coyote hunting expedition with Burke Burnett in Wichita County that Roosevelt suggested naming the town of Burke Burnett after the ranch's illustrious founder. Adjacent to the big house lies the ranch's famous loft barn, and thereby there's a private landing strip complete with an airplane hangar and pilot's quarters. The Four Sixes Ranch is more than just a home, it's a vast kingdom. With over 20 employee houses, bunk houses, multiple stables, and various shop and feed outposts, it is a self-sustained operation. Every autumn, the ranch hosts the return to Remuda horse sale, where prized stallions fetch millions of dollars. Beyond the big house, the ranch stretches out with stables, barns, riding areas, and a massive 48,750-square-foot covered arena, all nestled among pastures and rolling hills. The Wichita River meanders through a portion of the expensive estate, and the absence of commercial hunting has allowed wildlife to thrive on the property. The heart of the ranch is the 13-bedroom, 13-bathroom, 13,280-square-foot main residence, constructed from quarry rock transported to Guthrie by wagon. In addition to the main house, the property encompasses extensive fence pastures, farmland, cattle pens, and more recent additions for horses, including a water filtration plant that caters to the ranch's water needs. The ranch further boasts separate camp managers' residences in both the north and south camps, covering nearly 225 square miles of land. Apart from its role as a filming location for the Western series and as the residence of Taylor Sheridan and his family, the expansive ranch boasts a large arena that has hosted numerous events. There's also a restaurant named Nick's Bar, described on its website as a beautiful space overlooking the arena. It offers a local spot for drinks, food and dancing, along with a private event space for cast and crew gatherings, special events, and more. All within an authentic and inviting setting that promises a fresh experience with each visit. Samuel Burke Burnett, the founder of the Four Sixes Ranch, bequeathed the property to his daughters. In 2020, the last member of the Burnett family passed away and offered to sell the historic ranch to Sheridan for $350 million. So to cover this hefty cost and prevent the ranch from being divided up, Sheridan inked a substantial $200 million deal with Paramount. This agreement aimed to create an expansive Yellowstone universe with spin-off series. Sheridan humorously reflected on his short-lived wealth, stating that he was really rich for 45 minutes after signing the lucrative studio contract only to swiftly deplete his funds by acquiring the Four Sixes Ranch. The estate, sprawling over 600 acres, houses a multitude of horses and cattle, which Taylor allows to be used in the show at a substantial fee. Cattle rentals cost $25 per head, while horses command a staggering $2,000 per head as reported by the Wall Street Journal. Taylor admitted to having an abundance of horses, joking about the situation in a previous interview, stating that he might have as many horses as cattle. Exploring the estate's magnificent interior, one can easily understand his fascination with it. Other Yellowstone stars who own ranches, too. Taylor Sheridan is not the only figure in Yellowstone who is obsessed with ranches and horses. There are a lot more of them in that boat. Kevin Costner, for example, renowned for his role in Yellowstone, also enjoys the ranch lifestyle beyond the show's set. He possesses a picturesque 160-acre ranch in Aspen, Colorado, offering a lavish escape. The property comprises a main residence, a lake house, and a river house set against the backdrop of the Continental Divide. Notable amenities include a baseball field, an ice rink, a sledding hill, multiple hot tubs, and accommodations for up to 27 people. 
Interestingly, this luxurious ranch is available for rent at a nightly rate of $36,000. Similarly, Cole Hauser, known for his role as a rancher on Yellowstone, leads a rancher's life off-screen. His private solar-powered five-bedroom, six-bathroom home sprawled across a three-acre estate encompasses a main residence, guest house, and studio apartment. Outdoor features include a pool area, hot tub, and fenced horse corrals, offering seamless indoor-outdoor living. Furthermore, the captivating Montana ranch featured in Yellowstone also offers cabin rentals, providing guests with an opportunity to explore the set and the ranch's scenic surroundings. So what do you think about this legendary Four Sixes ranch and Sheridan's possession of it? Let us know down in the comments section below.